All right. All right. Good afternoon and welcome to Destination Arts General Meeting. Um, thank you all for being here and thank you, Anna, for being there. Oh, look, somebody else is coming in. Who is it? <laughs> uh, we're so glad to have you here and we will be recording this so that it can go out to everyone who wasn't able to be with us today. The main reason for having this meeting is just to share a, a lot of good news and tell you what's coming up and how you all can be involved and look forward to uh, what's going on here at Destination Art in this, this fall and into next year. Um, first of all, I wanna thank Laura Sipo for monitoring the Zoom during this meeting today. She has been training and I think there's a couple others that have learned how to monitor the Zoom for us. And that's always something that we could use help with when we have the hybrid classes. In fact, we just had a hybrid class this afternoon with Mike Ishikawa, and we had most of the people here in the classroom, but uh, five were on Zoom. And so that's something that we're offering more and more. And um, that way we can reach people all across the nation who wanna join in. Um, right now we have in our gallery, the latest gallery show that just went up this week and was curated by a wonderful curation team of Robin Johns and Terry Harkins. And I want Robin to come on up and talk a little bit about the show. Hello, everybody. Do I need to project or is that loud enough? Yeah. Um, so look around you in the main gallery here. Um, total number of artists who are in the show this time around is 12. And every gallery artist uh, is allowed to have five paintings in the show. So there's a total of 60, which is kind of like the perfect size, but we, we could definitely use more as well in the future if we have more gallery artists. Uh, most of them are in the room here in the main gallery, and then we have some more out in the lobby, especially for Julia Ward's pieces that are beautiful out there. So take a look. Along with our studio artists, we have some walls covered by studio artist art. We are gonna have a video that you'll see later that shows this online on our website. And all of this always is available online. From here on in, every show we have, you'll see it online. So that's the nice thing that you don't have to come all the way. Although you can tell that seeing the art in person is so much more exciting. So um, that's about it. And um, everything will be up and running in for three months. Uh, then this show will come down at the end of October. And then we will have the Lucky Seven mm -hmm. November celebration show going up, which all of you can be in. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks, Robin. And also, um, this show will, the reception will be September 25th. That's going to be our open studios and gallery showcase reception, September 25th from 1 to 5 p.m. So it's going to be very casual, just drop in. Hopefully most of the studio artists will be in their studios and um, be able to speak about their art as well as um, the gallery artists in here will be able to talk to people who stop in. And Linda Thompson is heading up a committee to um, provide refreshments that afternoon. So if you are willing to help with that, uh, we'll have Linda contact you. And Julia will be providing us a beautiful arrangement of flowers, which is her specialty. We're so glad that Julia will be doing that. Um, and as Robin said, our next show is going to be in November. It's our anniversary show. It's called Lucky Seven. And I want to be, I'll be sending out a prospectus to all of you that um, invites everyone associated with Destination Art to enter two paintings over the portal. Um, the registration will be open September 27th, and you can enter two paintings for $20, and uh, it'll be up the whole month of November, and uh, the party is November 13th. This is gonna be a really fun, lucky seven anniversary, and we have a committee who is starting to make plans for our party, and Wendy has some show and tell for you lucky seven yay <laughs> and we're gonna be you can see we're gonna have 
<laughs> we're going to be having some um, casino type games, um, some really fun things that if you uh, spin the wheel and you get a seven, then you get some wonderful prize. So <laughs> um, it'll be a, a fun celebration for seven years and for surviving the pandemic, continuing, <laughs> continuing during the pandemic. Um, so we just want it to be really fun. So those of you who like um, throwing parties and being the life of the party, please come and bring your friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that'll be kind of November 13th, kind of a kickoff to the holiday season. So hopefully um, that'll be a fun time. And we do have a lot to celebrate because Destination Art has been voted one of the favorites of the South Bay in terms of a art gallery. So we're really excited about that. And that'll be um, uh, highlighted on the Daily Breeze's digital site. Um, we didn't make it into the print version for some reason. We don't quite understand, but they assure us that we were in fact voted a favorite in the South Bay and we get to have the decals on the windows that say that. So we're really excited to be called the favorite of the South Bay. And Annie, I think Annie, you're here. Annie is our marketing coordinator. I'm here. There you go. Do you wanna say anything else about our favorite of the South Bay? Yeah, I think it's a really prestigious uh, award to have uh, you know, the vote of the people of the South Bay for this. And, uh, you know, the first time around actually that I think we've ever even been entered into this, which we didn't do anything to um, promote. I mean, it didn't happen that they said you should tell everybody about it. So, you know, the, the, the Daily Breeze Digital is quite impressive and gets to a lot of people. And I think that that um, subscription and views are overcoming what's going on in print. So it's a really good thing for us to have a perpetual print presence with the Daily Breeze. All right, great. Thanks, Annie. And we'll get to have that logo on our um, newsletters and stuff like that. So those are the big fun events coming up in the fall. But the other thing we wanted to emphasize is um, kind of a theme for this year, which is painting with friends. And um, because we're coming back out of the pandemic, people have just been so glad to be painting in person together again. And we've had some great opportunities here. We've had, we have our paint-ins every Tuesday from 10 to two. There's a nice group that comes in and paints on Tuesdays. We have mentoring with Frank Menudo, which is on Thursday afternoons. That's um, more of a class that you sign up for. Um, and we have our um, experimental artists of the South Bay. They are having, they're starting a second group that'll be meeting Monday mornings. And I can give you the contact information, Joanne Goodman and Irene Raphael, if you want to, or if you're interested in joining that group. Their Sunday group that meets here is full. So they're starting a second session on um, once a month on a Monday. And that's a group where they share uh, projects, experimental projects that they do together. So there's some good opportunities to paint together. Like I said, we just had Mike's sketch class here. Um, with a good group here for that today. Um, and then coming in the future, the big announcement is that we're, Richard McKinley is coming back uh, in the end of March, the beginning of April of next year, 2022. Yay. And then um, we've also been in touch with Alan Picard, who will be coming in 2023. Um, so we're planning way out for some of those big workshops, um, but we're all the time uh, bringing on different instructors and different media. Um, Chris Cook, who's a member of the California Art Club is going to be here August 21st, an oil painting class uh, from nine to 12, and it'll be here in the gallery. Um, Liz Walker is a mixed media artist who's gonna be doing an all Zoom class on um, September 18th. And um, we're drawing people from all over the co country with a water media on 
Zoom classes. So that's kind of fun. And Louisa McHugh, who's taught watercolor here for a very long time, is continuing to do that on Wednesday mornings, but she's adding a Wednesday evening class. So if uh, evenings work out better for you, um, that's going to be a fun time to, uh, to work with Louisa. Uh, Louisa also puts her classes on Zoom as well. So you can either be here or on Zoom. And so check out the website for all the classes. There's always new ones adding all the time. We're gonna to try to have Dave Wolfram come and do a, a workshop. Um, we'll be just adding all kinds of different ones. Joe Mancuso will come back, all of our favorites, um, but just keep checking the website for that. And bring a friend. That's another key thing I wanted to tell you about is, um, Carol Sutton brought a friend one day, Diane, to the paint in, and she started to love coming here. So she's coming now to the mentoring sessions on Thursday. And she said, I'm going to bring my friend here. She really wants to join. And so it's that's kind of how things happen here. It's friend by friend. And a lot of people don't even still know that Destination Art is here. And when they finally come in, they're just so glad to find it. We had a woman come in this week who Erica Snow Robinson told about Destination Art and she came in and she, was, she said, I've been looking for local art. I wanna put it in my house and I didn't know you were here. And I'm so glad to find a place that sells a local artists and uh, local uh, pieces of art. So um, just it's word of mouth, friend by friend, bring them in, bring them to the uh, open studios on September 25th, or just bring them by anytime to find out uh, what's going on here. So there are a lot of things that are going well. Earlier this year, Wendy Hansen helped us so much in grant proposal writing, and we finally did secure a grant um, from California State for $15,000 for COVID relief. So we're using that for some of our technology and other things that were related to getting our business continuing to go during the pandemic. And that's been very exciting. So we want to thank Wendy for that. Um, <laughs> and another aspect of that technology is that we're creating an online art academy. And Robin has been our creative director for that. We've been filming um, very professional looking uh, videos that are just, at this point, they're just introduction to various media, like introduction to watercolor, introduction to oil, introduction to pastel. And we're, we're gonna have a little collection of these and we'll launch an online academy in the next few months when we've got several of these published. And um, the idea is to refer a friend, like there's people all the time that have just retired or they're just saying, you know, I'd really like to get into art. Well, this is the perfect thing to refer them to. These will be inexpensive um, classes where they can get a feel for what do I need to even bring to a watercolor class, you know, and then they'll be ready to come to Luisa's class and feel very comfortable or the same thing for introduction to pastel and then they would be ready to come to a Joe Mancuso class. It's, um, they're gonna be really uh, useful to pass along and a reference for anyone who wants to start a new media. Then we're going to be adding to the collection with um, composition with uh, Dave Wolfram, a values film, and a uh, Dora Dewberry is gonna do color theory for us. So we're just um, adding to this, there'll be the really basic art techniques and skills so that people will feel comfortable to then take a Richard McKinley class or a um, Chris Cook oil painting class. It's like to get people some of the basics before they come into a big workshop here. So we're really excited about that and we will look forward to the launching of that this fall. And then another thing that we'll be revealing in the next few months is that we've been in the, a, a rebranding process. We did a lot of marketing research, thanks to Annie Gom and our assistant Josie Horan, who um, did a lot of Facebook marketing and surveys and developed a lot of marketing research. And so we'll be rolling out and revealing the new look to Destination Art, hopefully before our our lucky seven event in November. 
and will be um, Destination Art 2.0, or will be, um, it, and part of it is we wanted to really honor the fact that during the pandemic, the workshops we did online reached people all over the country, and we are still a South Bay based community of artists that love to share in camaraderie together. But we wanted to just honor the fact that we are also reaching people outside of the area too. And so that's part of that and just a more modern look to um, be have an online presence. So look forward to that. Um, let's see what else here we have. So I think that's almost it, um, but I wanted to also open the floor to people either on Zoom or here in the gallery. And um, this is your opportunity to share um, either what uh, you'd like to see going on here, some more of, more of this or that, and um, something that you've enjoyed maybe in the past here or something you wish that we had going on here. So, or ask questions or um, let me, let's, you can put it in the chat or you can just raise your hand. We have the microphone. If anyone li would like to speak, then the people in Zoom can hear you. Maybe start with um, uh, instructors who would like, we haven't mentioned tonight, and then we'll go Anybody have any ideas? Um, Don Emerson, any thoughts? Don Emerson, yeah. Don okay. Emerson is, it was a fantastic workshop when, when we had her on the Zoom for the PSSC. Oh, okay. But her in person would is be good. Okay. I love her because she not, she's not only, she has a very fun and different and oh. modern approach. <laughs> uh, Don Emerson. Hi, Zoom people. <laughs> Don Emerson and uh, Anna, also, well, she's not there, but Anna took it also online with me. And she is so vibrant and okay. new and exciting out of the box. And she can go from almost be a borderline abstract, but the, the use of pastels and pan pastels and a little bit of monoprint. And she's very excited and very new. Okay. So I'll so love to, more to see her in fun. person. Okay. Because she's really, she's a dynamite. Okay. She's really good. Great. Cass. Hello. I would really love to see Laura Pollock be able to come here. Laura Pollock. Laura Pollock, who's on the East Coast, and she does abstract from the landscape to abstract oh. or a vast assortment, but it's all about the color and the inner glow. She does do pastel. I don't know if she does it in other mediums, but she's a great instructor and okay. um, teacher and great mentor. Great. So something a little more abstract or a little bit more uh, out of the box. And maybe if we can get Mike once a month. Mike well, once yeah, a month, just, okay. Just a we'll pull him off that fishing boat. Exactly. Okay. Just a continuation of what he uh -oh. teaches us. I find it that it's very useful when you have a workshop that you can have a follow up, a follow up and you know, and have it on a continuous basis. So you don't just like put your sketch that okay, okay aside. Sketch or pastel, uh, both. I'll take both. Just okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Okay. Open to the floor. Anyone? Anyone else? Anyone okay. Else? Okay. Margaret, are you still considering are you doing the sketching classes or curriculum for people learning how to draw? Oh, say that again. Yeah, oh. an academy drawing yeah intro to drawing. But I, I could also do a, like a drawing on the right side of the brain, which is a little different Betty than the sketching. So oh, Betty, um, yeah, I'm, I am certified to teach that. So oh, we could, really? oh. mm -hmm, so we could do a, um, a drawing class here oh, if you like. I think I would love that. Okay. Yeah. All righty, that we can do. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, okay, now aside from classes, just any Anything else? Um, Annie has a great idea that we're gonna do, um, this is sort of a marketing idea. So we're always open for like new ideas to get people in. Annie has a sip and paint idea. Annie, do you wanna describe it? Sure. Um, the idea behind this is to get some people, particularly those that can help us spread the word about destination art to participate 
online or in person for um, an, an instruction, an hour's worth of instruction uh, with one of the destination art artists who's very good at doing both Zoom and um, in-person learning and invite journalists and invite influencers and your friends who you know that are gonna post on social media and send them a bottle of wine, send them um, some paints. Doesn't have to be you know, the finest paints, but still something nice where they can, they can participate and we can uh, work with the instructor to uh, decide on a uh, a painting they would we would like them to try to work around you know sort of a concept and it has worked very well for some of the marketing programs that I do um, with the clients and uh, it's a lot of fun and people really enjoy that wine it relaxes them a lot and um, gets their creative juices flowing and it'd be a really fun idea for us to celebrate um, the seventh anniversary or the whole year of getting through the pandemic and you know, what Destination Art has accomplished. So we're gonna work hard on that. So mm -hmm. if you have any suggestions of people that you think um, you would like us to invite to this, we would start working on that in advance because we have to get the, the supplies to them. You know, please let us know. We would we'd yeah. be really excited to hear. So that sounds so that so any idea those that's kind of an out of the box idea and so if you've got other ideas of Robin you want to well, I was watching making the cut with Heidi Klum and uh, Tim Gunn on Amazon and it's all about social media and I was thinking for our November 13th event lucky seven we should have an Instagram thing where people can take a photo with whether who knows what's going to be but we create that and uh, and people can do a photo and then post it to Instagram. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, yeah, our an Instagrammable spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our lucky seven and a painting or something. So, okay, that'll be fun. Yeah, some fun, just some fun things that are not totally hard to do, but just fun. I think we just need to have more fun. Um, yes, we need more fun. So, um, all right, so any more thoughts at this point? Any ideas, Robin? Yes. How do we get more people to volunteer? Mm. We need more volunteers. When you help, yes. Is that a, is yeah, that, that was gonna be my, my yes, next, next point. <laughs> is that, yes, we um, would then be so uh, grateful for your help or participation in any of these things. We're so grateful for people learning how to host Zoom, for hosting classes. You, you know, if you host the class or if you host Zoom during the class, you get half off of the price because it, there is some responsibility to uh, doing that, but that's a great help to us. Um, there's other ways of getting involved in the marketing, um, getting involved in planning the events, um, curating the, the gallery, as well as um, if you know anyone who wants to be juried in as a gallery artist for our um, next gallery show. We're also entertaining the idea of having um, outside groups show in Destination Art. We just had the experimental artists group. Um, had a very successful show here and we're hoping to have um, a few other uh, art groups to be in here uh, at various times during the year uh, just to add variety and to add um, more reasons to draw people in to, to see the gallery. Um, but please um, send an email to local artists at destination-art.net and let us know that you're willing to uh, work with us. We'd love that. Um, anything else? Otherwise, I think we can end on the exciting note that we are the favorite art gallery of the South Bay <laughs> and that we're celebrating Lucky Seven in a couple of months. And we and thank you so much for coming today and, and being with us. And thank you to the the Zoomers who Zoomed in as well. And we'll be sending out a recording of this uh, meeting so that everyone who wasn't able to be here would will hear all the announcements as well. So thank you and we'll see you 
soon at Destination Art. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sure. Any, okay, any parting words from Zoom? Zoom? No, I guess not. Okay, bye. Oh. bye guys. <laughs>